With there only being two more days of Fortnite Season OG by the time you're watching this, this is going to be my last video before Chapter 5 begins. So one final time in OG Fortnite, we're gonna be dropping into the Solo Victory Cash Cup with a placement so consistent that you would think your eyes are playing tricks on you. If you saw last week, I posted the first Solo Cash Cup of Season OG where, spoiler alert, I was able to get my all-time best placement of 106th in Opens and a third place in Finals where I absolutely sold my first earnings. So now the only goal that I have left for myself is to finally make some bread in the finals. In my previous video, I said that if we could reach 5,000 likes in 24 hours that I would be giving away 5 battle passes in Chapter 5 Season 1, but we were not able to reach that goal. However, I have come up with a new deal for you guys that I think is pretty fair. So, if this video can reach 3,000 likes before Chapter 5 Season 1 begins in three days, then I will still give away five of the new battle passes. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is go follow my Twitter, ZenJCM, which is going to be linked in the description down below, and then boom, you will have a chance to win a battle pass. You guys already know I gotta do the shout out for this video, so thank you to Carson for having a positive influence on the community. Also guys, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and most importantly, be sure that you turn on notifications, because whenever Chapter 5 Season 1 does drop, we are going to be taking over over YouTube. Starting out, one thing I wanted to say is that I wanted to take more fights this time around because something that I've been working on is my confidence on 60 ping. In just a couple of months from now, I'm going to be moving to a place that has 20 ping, so I've been really trying to prove that you don't have to have really good ping to be a good player. And right here in game number one, we're looking to get moving straight away. Hey man, GG's man. Let's go, baby. We're vibing, bro. Let's go. There we go.
And I killed him too, bro. Like, why is he running into Storm? When I saw the loot on the ground, the Rift to go, and all of the mats, I thought it would be kind of stupid to not go for the refresh right there. And all I really had to do was, like, completely box around it. A few things that I could have done to prevent myself from dying, so I definitely sold that game. I don't want to come off as complaining, but I'm also hoping that in Chapter 5, we see the return of Siphon to competitive. I don't think there is a single soul that would, like, dislike if they added it back. Just saying, you know, in that situation, if Siphon was in the game i would have still been alive not saying that i couldn't have played it better but we all want siphon back so epic if you're watching this please consider doing that i will say though that the fighting that game was not looking so bad having confidence in your first game and just trying to get as many points as you can is always the way you want to go in your first game of opens so now we're heading into the second game and i'm starting this game off with some pretty insane loot Cause I had a purple attack and I go fight this guy that's the party. He slide kicks me through a door. My crosser goes to Narnia. I hit for 23. He max bumps me. Like, I swear I hate the attack. In all honesty, that all came down to my awareness. I wasn't aware that I was directly below height, and I certainly did not think that I would be the spot that height would be looking at. I mean, to be fair, it's been quite a while since bouncers were in the meta, so yeah. Again, something that was definitely my fault, not being in the practice of using bouncers. I feel like I'm honestly not playing bad, but each of these deaths are all just coming down to like one little mistake that I would make. All in all, kind of a mid game, but we're not doing bad. We have 35 points in two games. To qualify for the finals we only need 67 points by the end of opens i've really been enjoying solos this season playing the best that i've honestly ever played so i know that 67 points is going to be an absolute breeze especially if we keep on averaging the amount of points that we're getting right now so heading into game three i'm feeling more confident than ever and i just need to keep up this consistency you good no 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 i am i just headshot sniped this good i'm the best i'm not worried about finals that's what i call I just win this game. I'm getting right? kid. Okay.
I'm the best. Oh my god. Yeah, I just got to pump off this guy though, a spaz. Bro, wait, what? I know. You a spaz when you got a drum gun? Yeah, I know, I know. I have a rift, but like, I don't want to waste it, like, at all. Are you at Loot Lake, so? Yeah. If you're on the island, you can just, if you have a mech here or try, like, anything near you, you can just tank it and then rotate. Yeah, I just don't think there's anything up there is the thing. I think I know my plan. Yeah, yeah. Alright, I'm gonna rotate really quick. Oh my god, I'm the best. My grapple's bugged. There we go. Okay, so for finals, right? You can do the strat as long as I'm not in the game. <laughs> so what I'm doing is, right? Landing lonely, okay? Then I'm gonna rotate out, right? Get, go for supply drops. Supply drops, you get purple tags and you get campfires and like all that stuff, yeah? I'm gonna carry med kits, minis, grapple, Pack and um, in the campfire, you can soak it and sit in zone if you need to. And then the rift, you can just rift a couple zones and recycle as much as possible and then grapple your zones. And you can just use the attack to win the fight. You just win the fight because you're not going to need to AR or anything. Just don't fight, kids. And then the 11th zone, I'm going to look at height and go for it. This is going to be a bad rotate. I have to, I think I have to either fix my grapples or hit a rift. Because grapple, bro, like those last couple zones, you aren't going to have rifts. The gra grapple is going to mean everything. Shoot me, bro. I grappled. I, I saved my rifts, bro, and I got in.
died, bro. I, I sold so hard. No, bro. I think the main mistake that I made in that game was trying to play for high ground too early. I think I did a really great job of making it to late game and saving the rifts to use them as late as possible, but I should have stayed low key for longer in the late game and then try to take high a little bit later than I did. I ended up overspending all of my mats and by the time I should have went for high, I had no mats left. It's all good though. We closed out with a fourth place and I have 60 points in three games, meaning that I still have four matches remaining and I'm only seven points away from qual. Knowing that fact, I'm just going into this fourth game strictly playing for the win, not taking really that many fights, because at the end of the day, all I need to do is get like a top 12 and I qual to finals. Good news for me is that I'm heading into this fourth game and we do make it to late game. Bro, he had to be max HP? Are you trolling? That was probably the worst game I played in the entirety of opens in this tournament. Just overall, not really paying a lot of attention to how many mats I'm using, having very little awareness of that guy being there and just not choosing a good rotate. I mean, if you think about it, my complaint there was sort of valid. I mean, what were the chances that that guy was full 200 HP right in the midst of a late game, but it's all good. You win some, you lose some. I played it poorly. I could have definitely gotten like a top five minimum that game had I just played better, but it's all good we ended up qualifying out of that game we still have one game to go in opens the question that i have to ask myself now is do i have what it takes to place yet again just outside of the top 100 or even inside of the top 100 basically saying can i beat my record twice in a row i'll let you guys watch my last match of opens and then we're gonna get real in the finals you, man. Let me run. dead dumb. you have two minutes so you could just like key somebody if you really wanted to and then go next game Okay, I'm keying this good then. Oh my god, I'm insane! I might as well. Yeah, it's kind of I think. Oh, I'm hitting shots. 
Apartment's over, so get down on. Dude, that was so oh, sketchy. No, how is he alive? We can probably save our rift until the next long distance moving zone. I could have done so much better and he dies right after he does that to me bro okay top five that's something i do a lot right there is instead of turning around and blocking my back where i know people are going to be i start building my box towards the place that has no one next to it what i mean is had i simply just turned around and blocked my back as i built my box i probably would have survived right there and had a chance to win the game but it's all good we're ending off opens on 94 points which solidifies a spot right inside the top 500 not a bad opens sure it wasn't right outside of the top 100 like my last week's tournament but a top 500 i will take that played solos super consistently this entire season and now we're heading into the finals. I'm gonna go ahead and just let you know that two of these games were extremely mid. Sometimes in solos, if someone either just has like a better drop than you, or simply just has better RNG when it comes to picking up a better gun off spawn, whatever it may be, sometimes you just don't got what it takes in solos. But I still have one more chance to make earnings in this cup. So it all comes down to the very last game right here. Last week we got a third place, so right here in this game, I'm trying to bring it home and catch my first win to make earnings. Well, GG's to that guy on the tower, bro.
the heck, bro? How is someone so high up? Wait, how did I just take fall damage? I grappled. And my builds aren't placing. I'm um, gonna be honest with you. I Look, I'm gonna have to ask you all to go easy on me in the comment section, okay? So it was a rough finals. You know, it happens to the best of us. I feel like I definitely could have won that game, but something that I noticed throughout that entire tournament, both opens and finals, is that my awareness just was not as good as it could have been. I feel like overall, my fighting was still not the worst. I can definitely still feel the improvement. And another thing that I want to mention is that if I'm playing this consistently on 60 ping in solos, imagine how consistent I'm going to become once I move and I'm on 20 ping. It's gonna be very scary. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to drop a like and don't forget that I'm going to be doing a giveaway of five battle passes in chapter five season one, but we have to get this video to 3000 likes first. So definitely drop a like if you enjoyed. If you wanna see another video of mine, it's on screen right now. That would mean the absolute world to me. And as always, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day or night. It has been your boy, JCM, and I will see you all in the very next video. Peace.